welcome to the surf school in Varberg, Sweden. Uh, we do a lot of different kind of lessons in uh, kite surfing, surfing, and uh, now winging, foiling. Been onto the wing since 2019 when we started with the wing. The wing scene started to grow. Uh, we're gonna give you a few reviews of some different equipment. Uh, we're on our way out to do a bit of testing here this morning. Uh, our review is mainly going to be about the feeling about the gear, how it feels. I'm not super tacky into exactly the different kind of dimensions. More about how it feels in different kind of conditions, especially in our Scandinavian conditions. So jump in. We're going to talk about the Eagle today. 790. Amazing foil. Beautiful weather. Welcome to the surf school. So what I want to talk a little bit about is the, the new F1 Eagle that just came out. Uh, and we've been using this, I got the 790 with me to, uh, we got here, I got the 790 with me to uh, South Africa in uh, February, uh, just the day before I left, I got an email that we can get one of these, uh, and uh, I thought, man, it's going to be too small for me, I'm 90 kilos, uh, 187 centimeters, uh, so I thought this foil would be way too small for me. Uh, and I used it in South Africa, strong wind, did a lot of downwinds on it, uh, and I uh, was super impressed about the foil. I got home to Sweden and we got the 990 as well and the 890. Uh, so I've been going back and forth on these two models. Uh, the 990 and the 790. Quite a big difference on them. Both of them are high aspect foils with a 9.5 aspect ratio. So really high aspect. Uh, you see they have these little winglets to help it not having too much drag. Looks a bit scary. Had a few sessions on them and I still haven't hit that little edge yet. So that's been fine. Uh, last week we had I had six, actually had six sessions on the on these foils. Three on the 790 and three on the 990 in different kind of conditions. Uh, and now I just felt like it was time for me to tell you a bit about my feeling about these foils, how they react in the water and what kind of conditions you want to use them for. Uh, I was thinking of starting with the 790 that we actually had in uh, the days in South Africa. The 790 has a 3x short fuselage, uh, so it actually turns very very well. Uh, the 990 also turns really nice, uh, but if you have, like especially if you go and you like chase bumps in the ocean and you're drifting down and doing a downwind and in our Scandinavian waves or our Swedish waves here everything is wind generated so the wave doesn't get super steep then this way this foil turns very well as well uh, when the waves get a little bit steeper uh, of course then the angle of this because such a high aspect has a tendency to go out of the water a little bit for me uh, but in our kind of waves here in Sweden it turns really nice uh, a lot of speed uh, you can see we had we were doing a few downwinds here with uh, with some other friends and it's so stable. So it doesn't feel like it goes super fast, but when you like when we saw pictures of it, when you're riding with someone else, it just goes so much faster. The acceleration in this amazing and the glide of it is so good. Uh, the 790 I used in a lot of really really strong wind, and uh, the cool thing because it has that speed and generates uh, generates speed and glide. You can be quite overpowered with your wing. Because uh, a lot of times I, I got a little bit stronger wind if you're on a long downwind and the wind started to pick up. Uh, so instead of getting overpowered, you just have that speed just keeps on pushing you. So your arms don't get too heavy with the wing. Uh, so I noticed that I could use the 790 in really strong wind, like 30 plus knots. Uh, last week I had two sessions in a 30 plus knot there as well. And I was on a Strike V250 uh, and I was fine. There's a lot of power but I could get up nice and fast. I was on the board of 44 liters. Uh, but the foil is handling it very well. So you catch a wave really far out, tack all the way up, it tacks very well, get up to the point, you cruise up, you get one wave, and first you go left, you can like cruise it to the left, the, the swell is building in, you come in, you go to the right, uh, you do a few turns, and then you see a lot of times if it's like a wind kind of swell rolling, the swell goes from one wave and it drifts back to the one behind. Then you just generate speed, you go over the wave, go to the other wave, and you go straight into the other wave, just two pumps. So the glide and the pumps in these ones are amazing. Uh, in the beginning when I was riding this, I was struggling a little bit with the foil that like sometimes you just fall straight through down the water. So you don't really keep it up in the in the sky. So it's a little bit, it's quite more technical to use them. Uh, but when you're up riding, when you ride with speed, when you keep the glide, 
it actually behaves very well. So a really fun foil uh, for someone that wants to have something in strong wind. You want to go have a lot of glide, you want to have a lot of speed, it actually turns well in waves. Uh, but just to have that acceleration you get from these foils is amazing. So super cool foil to, to have together with something else. I've been before I was on this foil, I've been riding, riding the Phantom S940 a lot. Uh, also an amazing foil and the combination of these two. If the waves get a little bit steeper, I would go on the Phantom 940 uh, or the 840. And if, if it's more about speed, long glides and do good carves, probably jump on this one. Uh, the 990, it's quite wide foil. Super stable when you get up. Uh, I've been using it in quite different, few different kind of conditions, both in lighter wind, sea breeze, just going in small waves, riding small bumps, generating speed, and you just sits up in the water. Like it has so much glide and pump. You just go two, three pumps and it just cruises. You get small wind chops and you catch that, you can cruise between the wind chops. It's almost like a skate park. And you see a, pump, a bump come a little bit further down, two, three bumps on the foil, get over to that, you glide on the little, little wave and get to the, to the next one. Uh, the 990 comes with a 2x short fuselage. I'm looking forward to try with the 3x. Uh, the same downwind 2 and 210 stab uh, comes with it. Uh, that's, it's a new stab as you see, nice and straight. Uh, and I've been using this foil. I also had it in a few sessions, but it's been around like 25 knots wind and a little bit bigger waves. And sometimes when you get a little bit big waves, it becomes a little bit scary when you're gonna get down the face. So then I would tend to go down to a little bit smaller, the 790. Uh, but when you catch small waves and you cruise down the face of it, this foil has so much glide and control. Such a fun foil. Uh, so I really recommend you to try this. Uh, but the 990 is amazing. We have it in 890 and it's going to be another size coming in as well. It's bigger than this. That's not out yet. Uh, but these things are... Just when you look at them, they look so nice. High modular carbon, so it's a stiffer carbon. Uh, so it handles even more speed and becomes even more direct, same as the carbon high-modular masts. 